All right, so Nathan, back here at uh, Garment Creations. We're in Levittown, Pennsylvania. I'm with Erastus, and we're talking through uh, how to make sure you're confident that your press is going to work and wash and last, and it's going to wash uh, well after wash after wash after wash for your customer, and they're going to be satisfied with the results. So how do you do a wash test? How do you, how do you know that you're confident? Um, and so uh, as we're talking through this, we said, you know, uh, you want to think of the, the dumbest thing your customer can do and do that, right? And so uh, when you're doing a wash test, one of the things that we recommend doing, we usually send a couple extra transfers with every pack. Uh, so count out your transfers, get an extra one, um, and press it onto the fabric that you're going to be decorating. So if it's 100% cotton t-shirt, use that shirt. Uh, and then when you go to wash it, use a Sharpie. So it needs to be a permanent marker, permanent Sharpie, and actually make a tick mark, just like you're counting in fives, right? Tick, 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 slash. Um, and make that tick mark, make one of them on, the Im on, on that shirt, on that image, um, and then wash it. Wash it high heat, um, put in the Tide detergent, use the powder stuff, use the, the, the agitated stuff, and then uh, go through the laundry and actually dry it on high heat as well. And do that cycle every time you do a load of laundry. Well, you probably don't want to do your clothes that way, but if you want to put the harshest test, you can do it that way. The other thing you can do is every time you do a load of laundry, throw uh, your, your product in there uh, to be wash tested as well. And every time that you put it through uh, a load, take that Sharpie and make another tick mark. So one wash, two wash, three washes, etc. Now in our experience, 99.9% .9 of wash test failures will happen within the first uh, three to five wash cycles. So you're gonna see it happen early. If it washes uh, past five cycles, it's likely to go to 30 cycles. You're just gonna see the shirt break down over time. Um, now, if you have a failure in wash, if you see cracking, if you see something start to lift or peel, um, what you need to know about Plastisol ink is that uh, Plastisol, whether it's direct screen printed, screen printed like on a main machine or an automatic, or whether it's heat transferred, on, transfer, transferred onto the fabric, uh, if it's not cured, it will crack. All Plastisol that's not cured cracks. So you need to make sure that it's cured well. So if you do have a breakdown in the wash, we wanna go back to our, our heat press and we wanna check our settings, make sure that we're one, following the instructions, uh, use a temperature gun to calibrate your press and actually see what you're actually pressing at. And then you can actually uh, cover up half of the design. So take 50% of the design, lay it on the press, cover it back up, repress it. And if you notice that the cracks start to heal up a little bit because the Plastisol will, will remelt and, and reform. Now, voids in the print that have been washed off aren't going to magically show back up. But if it starts to heal a little bit and you repress it, and then uh, one of the things we recommend if you're doing that is, one, adjust your pressure up. That's likely what happened. If you were following the right temperature, you probably just didn't have enough, enough pressure. So adjust your pressure up, press half of it, and go back through the wash cycle. If the half that you didn't press continues to break down and the half that you repressed now is working well, well then you just figured out that you had a pressure issue when you were applying it and you need to make sure that your press is adjusted accordingly. The other thing that you can do uh, to calibrate your press through a wash test is to actually press the same image onto the same type of fabric at different settings. So go to the points where your product will actually fail. Press it uh, at a temperature too low that we recommend press it at a lower pressure, then press it at, uh, at the right temperature, the right pressure, uh, and then turn up the temperature even higher than we recommend and press that. Make sure that you're using that Sharpie to mark those different prints, and then wash test all of those, and you'll see where you have product failures um, when you uh, fall outside of what we recommend to press, and you actually know on your heat press whether you have any type of variation. Now we're on a Trans Pro heat press here uh, from Pro World, and when we check the temperature, we're at 325 on the readout, and when we actually check it, I'm at 339 in this quarter corner, I'm at 340 here, I'm at 332 there, and I'm at 342. Now our product is gonna work at, in that range, but you can see there's a 15 degree difference between what this digital readout is saying and what my surface is saying. And so if you have a, a machine, um, it, we recommend that you pick up one of these thermometers. If your machine has a, a black coating or Teflon coating, if it doesn't have that coating that, that's black, that's just like silver, the aluminum showing, these electric thermometers won't work and you have to actually use temperature strips to check calibrate your press uh, because the reflection of the laser uh, just is deflected by the silver. So if it has this black coating, you can use these. If it doesn't, use a temperature strip to calibrate but if you do that application of going outside of the recommended things and then wash test all of those you'll know and be confident where your settings need to be on your particular model to get the best results.
And then what we would recommend is every time that you get an order from us, uh, just have a scrap shirt that you use. Take an extra transfer, press that onto that scrap shirt, and then every time you do a load of laundry, make sure that scrap goes into that load of laundry. You'll know that you have an application issue if your press is starting to break down. Let's say you, you develop a cold spot in the press, um, which happens from time to time, or, or your equipment starts to have a failure because you've had it for 20 years, or um, maybe you got an entry-level heat press and all of a sudden you have an issue, you want to discover that before your customer does. And so we recommend just getting that habit of pressing an extra one, put it through the laundry, and then you'll know whether or not your heat press is having an issue. And always keep a temperature gun handy because this is just an easy thing to check or temperature strips because it's easy to calibrate and it makes sure that you're confident going into every application.